Dr. Enya Nayabaribi, the Senate Minority Leader, says, the root cause of the farmer health crisis is people's attachment to land. Abaribe said this on Friday during the Urgent Conversations series, a program hosted by Radio Now. The People's Democratic Party, PDP, number one citizen in the Senate, said until the question of whether Nigerians can easily ignore matters relating to a land they are attached to is answered. The farmer header conflict will always resurface. He said, we also need to ask a question that is, is it possible for Nigerians to ignore the matter of attachment to land because it is very critical for us to have this conversation? I read somewhere that close to 80% of Nigerians' land is in the 19 states in the north. About 22% or so is in the 18 states of the south. And somebody in the south is being told to leave his land in order to be alive so that another person can stay there. How do you think the person would feel? Senator Enyin Naya Abaribe noted that if there is no quick access to justice, there is absolutely no way people are people that are aggrieved will agree that something is being done for them. Away from the farmer headers crisis, he said, Nigerian's problem can be solved if the right person who believes in equity, equality, is put in a position of power on the basis of merit. The senator said, the base is fairness and justice. You must deal with everybody equally. And once you do and do that, then people will buy into your solutions. And once they buy into your solutions, then you can continue to have a viable country. It's just that among governors and the presidency, what we see is the KBAC democracy, where the man on top, it is only what he says that will happen. We need to move away from every other thing and start to think about meritocracy. That is just it. Once you, once you don't have the right person, you will continue to have these problems. Unfortunately, what we have is one person in office trying to bring in someone that he is comfortable with, not someone that can do the work. Enyinaya Abaribi concluded. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? This is what um, is happening. Sadly, but this is the truth. Take it or leave it. We can um, go about issues, you know, say so many things, and, uh, but the truth remains the truth as it is. We cannot continue to rigmarole around these issues, uh, assuming or thinking that... Uh, we are doing the right thing or thinking that praying that the country will be better while we are not taking the necessary and needed steps. The necessary and needed steps has to be taken and uh, it has to be consciously taken as well for things to work in this country. It is sad and unfortunate that what we have is not people who can do the job but people whom the, com the president is comfortable with. Truly and rightly said by in Nayabaribi. And this is not what we need at this particular point in time. We need people who can do the job. We need people who has the requisite um, qualities and uh, ability to do the job and deliver. People who has what it takes. People who are passionate about the country. People who are passionate about delivering quality. People who are passionate about doing right. People who are passionate about working and living um, 
legacy that will outlive them. These are the set of people, the mindset and the characters that we need in this country. But it is sad and unfortunate that we do not seem to have such people in power at the moment. And that has left us with so much to think about, so much to worry about. I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong, but Nigeria as it is at the moment does not seem to be on the right path to uh, achieving greatness and uh, delivering the people or delivering to the people the dividends of democracy. And for how long are we going to continue like this? For how long are things going to continue this way for people to enjoy the uh, governance? The dividends of democracy is far-fetched from the Nigerian people and populace at the moment. This is really, really sad and unfortunate. A situation where the people from the north are coming to the south to take over their lands and trying to attach themselves to them by force, regardless of how the people from the south feel or react about it. Of course, and the president is behind them or seem to be behind them, refuse to condemn the evil acts that is being perpetrated by this sect of people because he is from their clan. All these are nepotic uh, uh, racism or racist attitude ne uh, and you know the likes of it this cannot in any way move the nation forward and you expect people not to call for secession not to want to break away of course it cannot happen people desire to leave because they are no longer comfortable with what is going on in the country until the needful is done until the people are carried along, until there is a change that will convince the masses that of a truth, you know, things can be better and are going to be better in this country. I'm afraid Nigerians are not going to be comfortable living as one. No matter how people or the government try to persuade or coerce or make people want to live together as one, it may not work. It may just be an, an effort in fertility at the end of the day. Well, guys, it is what it is. I stand to be corrected if I am wrong. But from uh, what the angle that uh, President, uh, Senate Minority Leader Enya Nayabaribe has spoken from, it is very, very clear that the Fulanis aim to dominate the people from the South. There is a plan to Islamize the country. There is a place plan to fulanize the country and the people from the south will not have it as it is. Well guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Well, drop by at the comment section let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these news stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.